Hey guys, welcome to episode 1.5 of Networking VR Interaction Framework uh, with Mirror. I want to make a follow-up to yesterday's video because I had a question on the Discord about what if they only wanted to animate hands and to uh, network that animation. So I'm going to set that up in this video and we're going to do some optimizations um, for Mirror uh, for VR in this video. So we're going to hit both. Uh, so let's do it. So let's go ahead and make a new folder under rig scripts. We're going to call this uh, network BNG scripts. And let's make a new script and we'll call this network hand controller. Go ahead and open that up. Now it gets interesting because your network scripts have to be network behaviors. So you can't really override uh, the existing hand controller. So what we're going to do, um, let's go ahead and find hand controller. And this is the BNG script and go ahead and open that up. We're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to get his namespace paste it in there um, and then come back over to the hand controller and then we're going to take everything in the body every function all of it all the way down to the bottom um, come back over to network hand controller and then just uh, grab everything here in the body and paste it in there we'll probably okay right here where it says hand poser type you can't uh, have two public unums named the same thing so we're just going to call this for now uh, network hand poser type we'll come back to this in later videos we're going to be heavily modifying the script um, in the future but for this episode 1.5 I'm going to show you guys how you can use it to uh Get your hand animation network if you're just using hands. So all the way at the top of the network hand controller, we need to put using um, mirror. And then under mono behavior, we're going to change this to a network behavior. Then down here in start, we're just going to say if is not owned. Notice the exclamation point. This dot enabled equals false. So we're going to put this on our network rig. When it spawns, the remote rig, uh, the other player's computer, where when this spawns, it's going to disable the script. And the reason is, is we don't want this overriding the animator. Um, and that'll make sense in a minute. So you need to disable this script. We don't want it enabled on the other side. So that's all this does. So as soon as this thing starts up, it's going to disable the script if it's not our local computer. Now later on, I'm going to show another method of this in another video where we're not actually going to disable this script. We're going to sync var everything. And that'll make sense in later videos. But for now, let's just do this. You guys will learn a couple of different ways in these videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back into Unity. Um, let it load up. Let's go to our assets and go to our prefabs. Let's find our network rig. Let's go ahead and drag them back in the scene so we can do some modifications here. Uh, let's find our left hand and up here in our XR rig. Go ahead and expand it out and get all the way down to your left hand anchor. So, bear with me. What we need to do is we want our grabber to be networked. So, 
in the end, your grabber and your remote grabber are going to be part of your network rig. They're not going to be part of your XR rig in the scene. Our XR rig is primarily responsible for our teleporting and our moving around. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this whole thing, just duplicate it. And then we're going to pull it down underneath our network left hand. Okay. And then what we want to do is our position, see how it has a negative 0 0.2? We don't need that anymore because we're going to be targeting our XR rig. So we don't want that offset. We want this to be zeroed out. And then we're going to do the same thing for our right hand. Um, come up to your right controller, duplicate it, and then just pull it down uh, underneath right hand. And then it's offset. Just get rid of it. You'll see it centers. OK, so you see how it has hand controller? We're going to add our network and controller. Okay. And I leave this like this so that you can figure out uh, what is supposed to go where. So click on it. You can see our left hand, it needs this. Uh, pull that over. Click this. You can see it needs this. Same thing. I believe it's the same thing. So that you just click on it and you know it's supposed to go there. Let's go ahead and switch this to animator. And then we need to assign our grabber. So if you come into our network rig, you can see that we now have a grabber. So we're going to go ahead and assign it. That way it doesn't have to look for it. It's going to look for it anyway. Even if you forget, it's going to try to find it. And the rest of this stuff, you can just leave blank. Uh, same thing for our right controller. Uh, let's go ahead and add our network hand controller. Um, late night tonight. Our animator, this one's not filled out for some reason, I'm not really sure why. But our hand animator is going to be, I believe, let's see if I can do this off the cusp, right here. And our hand poser is going to be on the black new. Black new for our auto poser. Switch this to animator. Come down to grabber. Let's go ahead and assign the grabber. Um, after you do that, you can go ahead and get rid of your hand controller. So we can just remove these. Remove component. Um, same thing for our uh, left hand controller. I'll go ahead and remove this. And we've replaced it with our network hand controller. It's going to do an identical same thing except for the uh, the uh, if his own statement that we put in there so it disables on the remote rig. Let's go ahead and save that up so we don't lose our work. I'll come down to where the animator is at. Okay, we need to sync this. So let's add a network animator. Let's go ahead and hit client authority, and then we're going to put our uh, client to server for our sync direction. Same thing for this, for your other hand. Add network animator, click this. I don't know why this needs clicked. Um, I haven't looked at the code yet. Set this client to server. Another thing that we didn't do in our last video is optimize this for, um, we're going to kind of go off base here a little bit optimize our network manager and our uh, player transforms. Um, what we want to do for our network rig is we want this to be client authoritative. Um, you can see this says obsolete. That's what I don't understand about the, an the animator at this juncture, but for some reason client authority needs checked on the animator. I haven't figured out why yet, but if you click this, it'll tell you, it'll, it'll automatically uh, set this to client to server. And we just want to do that on all of them. And we want this nice and snappy. Like we want the owner of this object, the local object, to be able to get that information to the server as quick as possible. You're in VR, so you don't want any kind of lag. Everything else is going to be server authoritative for the most part. But for your network rig or really any controller, you kind of want it to be client authoritative. Go back and double check. You have all of your network transforms on your network rig set over. Okay. Okay, so getting back to our network rig, let's open it up if it isn't already. Let's come back down to where our animators are. Um, 
this isn't going to automatically find your animator, so go ahead and assign it. And then same thing for your left hand. Uh, left hand models. Go down. Pull in your animator. Now, on this, we don't need our teleporter, and we don't need our menu on this. So let's just go ahead and we'll disable it for now. Um, you can come back and delete it later. Same thing here. We don't need we don't need our right hand pointer and our teleport begin. We'll leave that on our local XR rig. Um, that'll make sense later. Um, let's see. Okay, so once we've made all those changes, go ahead and uh, oops, go ahead and hit overrides. Go ahead and hit apply all. That way it uh, applies it all to our prefab. Okay, and then if you open up your prefab, and let's come down our left hand and our right hand, and let's go ahead and these graphics, go ahead and disable them. We don't need them anymore because you're going to have a hand here. Um, I wanted to point out something because I forgot to do it in the last video. Um, if your player won't move, um, I forgot on one of these to remove the uh, box collider. If you have a box collider it'll keep you from moving so just remember if you have a visual like this for now um, until we get into layers and things like that just go ahead and remove the component and then come up here and then just uh, apply your overrides um, hopefully nobody had any problems with that from the last video that's kind of the reason for the quick follow-up I forgot to do that um, so now um, if you hit save um, we can go ahead and delete our network rig. Save it, and we'll go ahead and build it. Hopefully uh, everything is set up correctly now. So I have my build here. Go ahead and host. See, I have hand animation. You can see two hands right now because I've got it on the XR rig and the other one to make sure that the uh, alignment's correct. And then if we come over here and we hit play. And we hit client. We can come over to the scene. Actually, I think I can leave it on game. And if we move it around here and bring up our other little guy here. You can see we now have synced animation. For our hands might be kind of hard to see it on this one. We'll see if we can see it. Sync animation to both of them. Okay. Uh, so now, if you come into your XR rig. down to your left controller and then uh, your models left and your grabber you can actually just disable them later we'll probably end up deleting them like I said our grabber and our remote grabber need to be part of the network rig and that'll make sense in uh, later videos when it spawns you'll still be able to grab locally if it's not a network object but we well, we will hit on authority and switching authority on objects and uh, network grabbles uh, later on so the only thing we need here is our teleport begin and our menu holder and then over here um, we can get rid of our models and our grabber and we'll keep our pointer and our, our beginner so just go ahead and disable that. Um, for the sake of simplicity let's go ahead and check it again make sure we don't have two hands. And then there's one more thing that we're going to do with the network manager to uh, check in case I didn't go over it I'm going to hit it again. Go ahead and host animation play client there we go I work animation of the hands there okay one other thing that I wanted to go over with our network manager um, 
our send rate uh, for VR. You want to set to sixty. Um, you can set it if you highlight it over. You can see thirty hertz for games like WoW to minimize computations. Um, with VR, you want it there for your rig as soon as possible. Everything is so up in your face. Um, you can try it with thirty hertz and see if it works for your game. If you're slow paced, it might work. If it's a community game, but if you're more faster paced with like some shooting and stuff like that, you're definitely going to want a higher pace. So start with sixty and go from there. Um, if you come down to, let's pull our network rig back in here real quick. And if you click on here, one thing that I've done uh, that you don't uh, need with VR because it's constantly changing on your network rig is this. Sync only if changed. There is going to be no point in time with your network rig that you're going to not be moving your hands or moving your head. So this doesn't even need to be checked. So for all of them, just get rid of it. You don't even need this sensitivity i've seen some other uh, vr setups where they will actually set this sensitivity but honestly i don't see the point um that's just my opinion there's nothing wrong with using this and setting this these values but your head and your, your hands and, and your position of your player are pretty much constantly going to be changing so you might as well just be sending it the whole time because on change means every time it changes it's going to send it so you might as well just keep sending it right um so just do that for all of them just get rid of it Uncheck it. You don't need it. Uh, make sure they're all unchecked. Oh, missed one. There we go. Okay, so with that, I hope that helped the question on Discord, and I hope you guys learned something about animating your hands and networking with a network animator. Um, the only time that it won't work, like I said, is if you have a script that is actually overriding uh, that animator, which is why we disabled the uh, hand controller, the network hand controller script on the remote so that it wasn't actually overriding the animator. Um, so hopefully this helps and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for joining.